the air crackled with anticipation. The atmosphere was electric, filled with the hum of excited chatter and the occasional burst of laughter. People from all walks of life had gathered, their faces lit up with eager anticipation. Excitement buzzed through the crowd. It was palpable, a shared feeling that connected everyone present. Friends and strangers alike exchanged smiles and stories, united by a common purpose. This wasn't a concert or a festival. There were no stages or performers, no loud music or flashing lights. Yet the energy rivaled that of any major event. This was the grand opening of 8-Day Tea in Taipei. The brand had already made waves in the south and now it was ready to take the north by storm. The sleek storefront, adorned with the iconic 8-Day Tea sign, stood as a beacon for tea lovers. Finally, the wait was over. As the doors swung open, a cheer erupted from the crowd. People surged forward, eager to be among the first to experience what 8-Day Tea had to offer. North Taiwan could get a taste of the tea craze sweeping the south. The unique flavours and innovative blends that had captivated so many were now within reach. Cafes and tea shops had become the new social hubs where friends gathered to enjoy a cup of tea and good conversation. Eight-day tea had arrived and Taipei was ready. The city, known for its vibrant culture and love for food and drink, embraced the new addition with open arms. People proudly held their tea drinks, their smiles reflecting their satisfaction. People lined up for hours, eager to try the drinks everyone was talking about. The energy was infectious. Conversations flowed easily as people shared their excitement and anticipation. The long wait only seemed to heighten the sense of community and shared experience. The opening day was a huge success. The store was packed from morning till night, with a steady stream of customers eager to get their hands on the coveted tea. The staff worked tirelessly, their enthusiasm matching that of the crowd. But it also showed just how popular 8-Day Tea had become. The brand had struck a chord with people, offering not just a drink, but an experience. It was more than just tea. It was a moment of joy, a break from the daily grind, a chance to connect with others. And as the sun set on that first day, it was clear that 8-Day Tea had found a new home in Taipei. 8-Day Tea wasn't always a household name, it started small in southern Taiwan. Its unique flavours and commitment to quality quickly won over customers. Word of mouth spread like wildfire. Soon, 8-Day Tea was the hottest tea shop in town. People loved the variety. From classic milk tea to fruit-infused concoctions, there was something for everyone. Social media was buzzing. Photos of the colourful drinks flooded Instagram. 8-Day Tea had tapped into something special. 8-Day. The grand opening in Taipei was meant to be a celebration. The anticipation had been building for weeks, with advertisements and social media posts creating a buzz around the event. People from all over the city, and even from neighbouring towns, had marked their calendars for this special day. But the organisers weren't prepared for the sheer number of people. They had expected a large turnout, but the reality far exceeded their expectations. The streets were packed and the air was filled with excitement and chatter. The line stretched for blocks. It seemed as though everyone in the city had decided to show up. People of all ages, from children to the elderly, stood in line, eager to be part of the grand opening. It snaked around corners and down side streets. The line was so long that it became a spectacle in itself, 
with passers-by stopping to take photos and videos of the massive crowd. People waited patiently, eager to get their hands on an eight-day tea. Hours passed. The crowd grew larger. Some people brought chairs and umbrellas, prepared for the long wait. Others passed the time by chatting with fellow tea enthusiasts or scrolling through their phones. Finally, the organisers had to make a difficult decision. They had underestimated the turnout and were running out of supplies. The situation was becoming unmanageable and they needed to act quickly to ensure everyone's safety. They had to stop people from joining the line. Security personnel and event staff were dispatched to inform the crowd. Signs were put up and announcements were made, but the news was met with disappointment and frustration. There were simply too many. The organisers had hoped to accommodate everyone, but the overwhelming response made it impossible. They had to prioritise safety and crowd control over the desire to serve every attendee. Not everyone who wanted a taste of eight-day tea would get one that day. As the crowd slowly dispersed, there were mixed emotions. Some left with a sense of disappointment, while others understood the challenges the organisers faced. The grand opening had turned into a grand chaos, but it was a testament to the popularity and allure of eight-day tea. disappointment rippled through the crowd as the news spread. The anticipation had been building for weeks and the letdown was palpable. People had come from all corners of the city, some even from neighbouring towns, all eager to get a taste of the famed eight-day